Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is the first episode of the hashtag Deck the Halls collab that I'm participating in with Kim, the Crafty Nomad, and Terry at Yarn Joy Podcast. So head over to their channels to check out their video. I'm not sure if they're up the same time mine is, but they'll be up sometime today. And then follow along every Monday throughout July. There are five of them, including today, um, where we will be sharing our projects with you. So now let's hop into it. <laughs> okay, so the whole point of the collab is to make ornaments to give everybody ideas for ornaments they can make ahead of time for the holiday season because it's coming up. It'll be here soon. <laughs> so today, um, I know Kim and Terry are working from the same book and but i don't have that book and i'm just working from free patterns that i found on the internet <laughs> so i've been looking around for some cute ones to share with you guys and i found one today well i didn't find it today but i'm sharing one today that i found that i think is really cute and i hope you guys like it so here's my first one it's called little christmas tree and i looked up how to say this person's name but i, I hope i don't mess it up but it's by uh, Iga Penchak. But it's it's supposed to be said in like a I think a Polish accent which I don't have <laughs> so I, I can't say it perfectly. But anyways, I'll leave it links below. It's a free pattern <laughs> and it's super cute. Okay, the original pattern called for you to use sport weight yarn and a three millimeter hook. But I used worsted weight yarn and a three point five millimeter hook. Uh and yeah, so here's the first one I made. Are you ready? Ta da! It's so cute. So it is like a little uh Christmas tree, and I did sew on these beads. These are pearl beads, and some of them are white, and some of them are like an off-white color. But I thought they were cute. Now, the pattern does call for a... There's my thread. <laughs> I'm planning on putting something over the, end, the bottom of that. But um, the pattern does have a trunk. <laughs> but I didn't want to make that. I'm just... I think I'm going to take a piece of fabric and maybe uh, put it over the bottom. A cute little piece of fabric or something. A piece of felt, maybe. Uh, and I do got to get some hangers because <laughs> they're packed away with all my Christmas stuff. But, so this is my first one. I think it's so cute. It's made in one piece. Uh, you start with this top part and then you, you do cut your yarn off, but you attach it to some back loops that you leave and you do that twice. But you could keep doing that because on some of the um, finished projects on Ravelry, there's people who made big ones and did all kinds of things. <laughs> That's where I got the idea to put beads on it. I thought that was cute. So this one I put pearl beads on. I thought it was super cute. And then the second one I made, I made it a little bit more eclectic y. <laughs> And I use pom poms. <laughs> so it's got just different color pom poms that I thought were, you know, good Christmas colors. And they're kind of sparkly. And I put a big yellow one on top to be the star. I thought that was cute. But um, these ones are hot glued on. I sewed the beads on, but these are hot glued on because <laughs> it's easy. It's a few, uh, few um, glue strands, but I'll pull them off. <laughs> and uh, I just think it's so cute. I think they both turned out really cute. And I like them a lot. I might make another one. Well, I don't really want to get rid of neither of these. I was thinking, because sometimes I'm, I mean, every year I make ornaments for my family. But I don't want to get rid of these. So I'll have to figure something else out. <laughs> I want to keep both of these. They're cute. So this is more like a classic, like, egg elegantly one. And this is more like me. <laughs> eclectic and all over the place. But I like it a lot. And I just need to get hangers for them. So this is a free pattern. I'll have it linked below. Uh, if you make any of these, let me know. I'll share them in, either tag them me in um, Instagram, send them to email, or put them on my Facebook group. Because I'd love to see. Uh, your versions <laughs> and I wanted to make a different color one but then I was just like I'm just gonna do green <laughs> but I think they're cute I love them a lot what do you guys think let me know what you think which one do you like better the beads or the pom-poms I think this one's definitely my favorite <laughs> but I love them both anyways so if you want to participate along with collab you're more than welcome to I know some other youtubers are going to be doing it and other people who aren't youtubers um, and if you want to participate and let me see it and you don't do YouTube uh, you can send me pictures via email, which is always linked below, or in the Facebook group, which is always linked below, <laughs> or in my Instagram, which is, you guessed it, always linked below. Uh, I'd love to see your finished objects and to get ideas, too, if you make different patterns. Also, throughout this month, for the five episodes, I'm going to be doing um, a giveaway for everybody who participates. Um, there's going to be two winners that I draw from... Um, the entries. <laughs> and how to enter is you need to join the Facebook group, is one way one <laughs> way is to uh join the facebook group and share your pictures under the right picture there it's featured at the top and it says deck the halls uh collab or something like that. i think it just says deck the halls and you post your pictures under that and then at the end of the july i will randomly draw two people out of that to um to win <laughs> and also the second way you can enter is you can send me a picture via email and i will add you to that anyways you know like i'll add it 
it'll be me posting it, but it'll be under your name, you know, like I'll, I'll write a note on there. Um, and then that way you can get entered into the giveaway as well. You can enter as many times as you want. I don't mind at all. And, uh, yeah, so the, the winner will be winning a zipper notion pouch full of some little goodies. And uh, like I said, there's going to be two of them that I'll be drawn at the end of July. So be at the end of the collab, you have all month to work on ornaments. And then there's also another collab I'm participating in with K and K crochet. And it's the Christmas extravaganza. There's also going to be two winners drawn from that one too. And I'll talk about that in that video. This Friday is when that video is coming out. But yeah, so I hope you liked my first little ornaments <laughs> I'll, I'll leave the link down below so you can check them out and then also i will leave terry and kim's channels below go check out their video there's also going to be a playlist and i'll have it in the description and then whenever their videos go live they'll be in there as well so um yeah i guess that's about it i'm gonna hop off here and get this video up for you guys to see and i hope you guys have a good day and i hope you have a good time prepping for christmas because it's coming it comes every year and it's fun to craft little things like this, I think. I love having ornaments like crazy. One of these days, I'm going to have to get another tree to just put them all on. But uh, yeah, this one's significantly heavier because of the bees. But uh, I think it's still be all right. Anyways, I'm going to hop off here now. And I'll see you guys in the video. Bye, guys.